Hey guys, this week on Hunker Down Outdoors, we're going to take you to one of our stand locations. We're building a, a rail around it and going to add some blind material and some natural cover to it. And we're going to show you how we do it. Um, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to add some trail cam pictures that we got from this location. We'll see y'all in a minute. This is one of my stands I've been working on today. I built this last year. And I doubled up the two by fours and then I notched them in. Each one of them is like that. Tall wood. I did a particle board and then I painted it because it was cheaper. But in the day I've been putting that rail around it. And that's what we got so far. We're going to put some cloth around it. And the uh, railing looks kind of tall, but it's actually kind of short. Just right for me to stand up both on it behind. What I plan on doing next, I got this landscape fabric here. And I'm going to wrap it around it. And after I get that around it, I'm going to uh, cut some trees and put over the top of it for camouflage. And that's what it looks like once I put the blind material on it. Alright, and there you have my trees on the side of it. Now the leaves are going to fall off of that. I do have a cedar limb up there. But what you can do is once the leaves fall off, you can get you some more limbs. The limbs are going to break up your silhouette. You can get you a couple more limbs and you can just stick them inside those limbs there. Um, you got an old Christmas tree, an old artificial Christmas tree. You can take the limbs from it, stick down in there, and that'll give you some uh, some green cover throughout the year. But one, there's a shot from up under it. Looks like there's a tree growing out of there now. And here's a look from the other side. Like I say, you can leave those up there. Once the uh, limbs start dying, you can just cut new limbs and just stick down inside those limbs, and those limbs act as a holder. The old limb does and it'll stay up there for several years and you know all the greenery is going to come off but next spring you come in here cut you a few small saplings stick them in there let's show you how to do it all right so i'm up in here and you can see i got a little hole right here i got leaves on this side of me this is where the deer is going to be coming from down there there's a road right here right through there and you can see I got holes where I can see so I'm covered they're not going to see me and when I stand up and go to shoot you can see I got an open view right there an open view right there and that'll make me a little hole right here too but if there's somewhere you want to add some you just take a little limb like this and stick it down in there like that See, now you got a little something right there, too. And you can just keep adding those in there. See, I just, just added the other one, so I just closed that hole up right there. And when I stand up to shoot, I'm over the top of it.